Okay, the next um, range of tools that we'll be discussing today is the Alien Tech range. So, Alien Tech has been around for a very long time. Um, they, they, had, they had two main tools um, before, before the KS3, which was the K tag and the KS. And the reason, so the KS was an OBD tuning tool and the K tag was a bench tuning tool. So since uh, AutoTuner came out with one tool for two um, for, for both jobs, they basically released the KS3, which works similar, which works in a similar way, where it's one tool that can do both the OBD tuning and bench tuning. So we we use the KS3 quite a bit. Um, the things that we like about the tool is that uh, it's they, they support from, the support that we personally get from Alien Tech is very good. So if anything had to go wrong, um, it's definitely the company of all the tools that give us the best support. Um, the other thing that the other reason that we use K3 is it's got a very good range of the Japanese cars and the German cars. So if you're looking for a tool that sort of can do can do cars from very old, let's say from the 2005 to 2019, then the case is a very good tool. Whereas AutoTune, on the other hand, maybe has a slight advantage from for newer models, let's say from 2015 to 2020. AutoTune can do a few more of those cars OBD, whereas case is a little bit was a little bit slower on releasing protocols for the new for the newer cars. Um, but it's a very nice tool. It's got uh, very good support, uh, very good price. So the new tool that they released, you can buy different protocols depending on the cars that you're planning to do. So you can buy the hardware, and then as you get new cars, you can activate the the software depending on the cars that you that you're planning to do. So. The package starts off with just the car protocol. You can then add on bikes or agricultural vehicles or marine um, marine equipment like your boats and jet skis. So if you wanted a tuning tool that if you're going to be doing a lot of trucks and agricultural vehicles and older cars to newer cars, then the case is definitely leading the market in, in, in that way in our opinion. Um, they release quite a bit of protocols, uh, very good price for, for what you get, and a very solid tool. So the old version of the tool was the, the K tag was a combination of uh, K tag and a case. And this was your Benz tool and this was your OBD tool. So they have now released the case three. Look at that one nice. That is basically combining those old two tools into one tuning tool that looks like this. So it's very new. Um, at the time of filming this video, uh, it was only released a month ago. So um, there's obviously going to be some bugs in the in the software that still need to get worked through and, and figured out, but. What's quite nice is they've added a lot of functions into the tool um, to develop different, different software. So at the moment they can't do logging on the ECUs, but hopefully by the time that you watch this video, they have bought in those capabilities. So there's a, a, a sensor in the tool to, meet, to measure G-force and everything. So there's definitely a lot of hardware packed into, into the new tuning tool that um, will definitely bring out or open up the possibilities to add in a lot of functions in, in the future. So our recommendation on this tool is if you're looking for old cars to new cars with um, some variations uh, in between from Japanese to German, then this is definitely the, the, the tool Then we highly recommend this tool for, for you. Um, the new device has a yearly fee of 600 euros. Um, so every year you have to pay 600 euros to, to renew the tool. Now, that is probably the biggest drawback between this and the auto tuner. But 
with the, because the auto tune is obviously for free, but you want the best support, um, and we do think that the fees that's incorporated into the yearly fees for the for the case with the support still makes it a good option, um, even though some of the other tools might have have uh, no yearly fees for support.